What is going on, everybody? Sid here, signing in for Sid Survival Guide. <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and throw it out there that I am not the greatest uh, cold bearing person. Is that the right word for it? So, what I have planned for today is just a simple go back into the woods, start a little fire. I'm going to attempt to boil water in the bottle and try out a, uh, a little meal that I've got and I also wanted to actually talk about the GoPro 7 I'm gonna film this where I'm talking to you right now and all the way up until about halfway with my original GoPro Hero 1 and then about halfway somewhere in the middle of uh, whatever halfway I'm gonna switch over to the GoPro Hero 7 Hero? GoPro 7 white silver ish and finish the video in that and I'm also gonna be just kind of talking about some of the things that uh, that I have picked up some of the little items here and there and stuff so uh, I do have a backup I brought the same little uh, coffee pot style thing from uh, the last video so, let's set off into the woods. Seeing as how I don't do well with the cold weather, I'm going to go ahead and bundle up. Plus, when I get out here on the water, there's no telling how cold it actually is or near the water. So, I'm probably way more bundled up than necessary. But I don't want to start it off cold, you know. I don't want to start this little adventure off bad. So I'd much rather take off several layers. You know. You know. So. Oh, look at this guy. He's a weenie. He's a weenie. Yes. Yes, this is correct. The cold weather and I. We are not the closest of friends. Are you ready? Boom of waters. Going in here with my my bag of doodle. Oh uh, no. Uh, Oh, I got this bag too. I just picked up at Walmart. It's a day bag. It says it's a day bag. It's a right, day bag, whatever. This is the coldest that I have been out and about. It's not too bad though. I mean, now that I'm out here and moving, it's not too terribly so. I do know it's gonna be awful when I get a tinkle though. It's gonna be terrible. It's gonna be bad. It's 
gonna be bad. Everything's looking all frozenish. There's a cedar tree. Keep the cedar going. It's just getting to something that's somewhat dry. This looks like a person. Like a footprint. We'll make sure I ain't gonna run up on some wild animal. It's not gonna be a very wild animal if it's out here anyway. It's not gonna be too bad. Oh. It's extremely it's still a very rural rural area. As you can tell. See if we can go back a little further and uh, find a way to block off some of this wind. Let's see what the the wind feels like down here. Some icicles over there. So, I guess let's see what we can do. See this down tree? I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to use some of it to make a wind break right here so I can cook right there. So I can do a little heat up of stuff. Got this over Christmas. Used it in the last video. Something pretty good so far. I'm gonna see if I can get some of these big branches to start off covering my way. Oh, I just slapped myself. Mmm. Told you tinkling was going to be awful. And, uh, you know, I just here recently learned that piddling, I like to piddle around. Like this is piddling. This is out here in the woods piddling, bushcrafting it and whatnot. But apparently in Old English, that means to, to tinkle. Who knew? Continue to cut some of these. I feel like I don't have to build a small wall right there. Alright, 
Mexico. This will work in a pinch, huh? Just to break the wind. All right, man. I mean, that should be enough to uh, to shelter us. We are just going to use this since we've had to put a little enclosure together. So we're just going to set this close enough to the fire to get it hot, nice and warm to uh, to warm up our chicken teriyaki. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and swap you guys into our chicken teriyaki and our ice cream sandwich. I'm gonna go ahead and swap you guys over to the GoPro 7. Okay guys, welcome to the Hero 7. Today, to make the fire, you can see I still got a lot of wind in my face. And you might be able to see it. Today we're gonna use one of these tablets and I'm basically gonna use the whole thing because of how wet the conditions are and I wanna make sure that I get my lunch on. These are fuel compressed trioxane ration heating for heating components of a meal. So I'm just gonna take these. And I'm gonna add them. See, it's got this dust. First thing I'm gonna do is knock off all that dust. Knock off all that dust, let's see. All right, so. All right, so I got my handy dandy ferro rod here that everybody has has witnessed the best thing I got, man. It's the best thing I got. So I'm gonna start it right here and then I'm gonna pull everything down to it. All right, so we have three pieces and I'm just gonna go ahead and take all three of them and put them right there so we have zero chance for failure. All right, now this is pretty simple. That's it. Probably all you have to do. All right. So I'm gonna make sure and get them. Boom. Here we go. Right. All 
this is me venturing forward into the cold because I, I don't this is not my the cold is not my bearing so we're gonna let that get super duper warm and let's see how let's see how long it takes that to catch while I put most of this stuff up and get my thing ready and maybe grab a couple more pieces of firewood bird And now all we're all we're heating today is a what it says is one and two we got 13 fluid ounces is what we need so we're gonna go ahead and and warm up oh let's see let's see We're gonna go do like that. That should be like what we need, you know. Make sure we put trash in my backpack. to sit down probably but I'd be okay I'd be okay let this get hot see this won't take long you guys want to check some of this out you know it's probably not level my tripod is a cymbal stand so I'm hoping that I can just pour this whole thing in the uh, in the pack, and that should be it. surprised like instantly instantly taken aback doesn't smell like anything but I'm assuming it wouldn't
Ah, carefully add one and two third cups boiling water. Stir carefully and close zipper. Wait five minutes, stir again and reseal. Let stand for an additional four minutes. Stir and enjoy right out of pouch. Stir. So hot. Little bamboo spoon. Stir. Oh wow. Kind of a uh, burr. Too much water. Yeah. water but that's okay this is literally this is it this piling up of, of this is all I have ever done bush craftiness to build any kind of survival anything period this is literally just a semi windbreak for my lower extremities like my hands I hear I can feel it here I can Phew. but it is cold and I do feel like it's getting cold What I'm probably going to do uh, ice cream sandwich while we walk back. Heavy, super heavy. Plenty of peas and such. All right, a little bit wet. I think that's probably my fault though, the wetness. First time I've ever done this. Mm. Good. Mmm.
really good. It's way better than what I was expecting. Even to be this this wet, I, I got it too wet. Even to be as wet as it is, it still almost has a, a not wet quality while eating it. The taste, it doesn't seem like you're eating a soup or something. Because I've definitely overly saturated it, but that's, I mean, I guess you could drink that, right? Mmm. You can taste everything. The peppers, the carrots, the peas, all of it. Every bit of it. Right, guys I'm gonna finish this and then I'm gonna pack up I'm gonna pack up and then we'll we'll walk and eat our ice cream sandwich as soon as I put this these little fire out Whew. Now that we have dispersed of the fire area there, we can head out and open up this ice cream vanilla sandwich. Why does that taste like something different? Uh, that tastes weird. I don't know about that. Oh. I'll tell you what though, my hands are frozen. My ice cream is not. Hopefully you've enjoyed the video. And come back for another one. Like, subscribe. Subscribe, like. Brr. Sid Survival Guy.